help me out with the kiln? Unload the kiln really quickly, please. Sure. Thanks. Sure. Put it that way. I'm Jovan Bedoya with DDC Grizz Media, and this is Upgrade Your Vocab. Hey, what are you doing in my room? Devani, are you okay? Devani! Devani! Hey, what are you doing?
Let's get it started. <laughs> Please stand for the National Anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight oh, the Today we're going to be making charcoal masks with a little bit of glue and a little bit of charcoal and I like to put in a little lavender essential oil for a little calming essence. You will need a couple different spoons and your deep bowl so you can stir it nice and well. So first you're going to add in a little bit of glue into your bowl. So you've poured the glue in the bowl. Then you're going to take your charcoal. This is vine charcoal that I use in my classroom for drawing. However, you can use the pill form, uh, which you can find in the vitamin section, but make sure you do not use your charcoal from your barbecue because you'll die. Okay, so you're going to take your vine charcoal and smash it up into pieces. The pill form already comes in powder, so we're making powder here. Now you put the charcoal into the glue. Then you're just going to mix it up. That's why you need the nice deep bowl so the charcoal doesn't escape. This is really great for blackheads for black in your T-zone, uh, which everyone needs. Those people that say they don't need it are lying. <laughs> Okay, so here we have it, nice and stirred up. Now for the application. In your T-zone. Fifteen minutes later, you simply peel it off, slowly that is, so you don't hurt yourself. And with it comes all those nasty blackheads. Hey muggles, I mean grizzlies. I'm Mr. Wilder and I'm here to bring you guys some historical events that occurred on May 13th. On May 13th, 1846, U.S. President James K. Polk declares war on Mexico, turning it into the Mexican-American War. The war lasted until 1848 and resulted in over 13,000 U.S. deaths. In 1930, a farmer was killed by hail in Lubbock, Texas, the only known fatality due to hail. On May 13, 1981, Pope John Paul II was shot and critically wounded by Turkish gunman Mehmet Ali Agka in St. Peter's Square, Vatican City. And, since Friday the 13th isn't always in May, it is considered a spooky, unlucky day in Western superstition. An estimated 17 to 21 million people in the United States fear this day, making it the most frightening day and date in history. To finalize, some famous celebrities that have been born on this day are Debbie Ryan from the hit Disney TV show, Jesse, Robert Pattinson, hashtag Team Edward from Twilight, 
and Stevie Wonder, the R&B singer. For more information on this day in history, visit www.thedailyroar.net. Wilder the Wizard is out. Oops, sorry. I was chatting with some of my friends back in Russia. Uh, so for those of you who don't know, my name is Missy Seyf, and I'm actually full Russian. Yes, um, Seyf is not a common uh, last name, but even Mommy Seyf is Russian. Uh, so we're from a city called Tombov back in Russia. It means city of God. Uh, and then we had some of our ancestors move to Siberia before they immigrated to the United States in the early 1900s. Oh my gosh, I, was, I wish I was back there. Like it's 90 degrees here, it's about 60 degrees and raining over there. So, but yeah, we're gonna enjoy portable weather. All right. Hi, my name is Mr. Martinez and this is the Workout of the Week. Hello, I am Miss Wolf and I work here in Granite Hills Library. I think I'm pretty tech snobby. There's a bunch of social media trends that are out there that I think you guys need to know about um, that are not safe for people to follow. Okay, you got me there. Everything you post on the internet is traceable, all right? You can trace this, you can trace that, you can trace this, you can trace this picture, okay? Colleagues and employers will be able to look that up and check to see what you're posting. And that is kind of a no-no. You don't want people to be able to do that for you, okay? Um, don't post anything. You don't want your coworkers, parents, girlfriends, boyfriends, and stuff to see. Another good idea is to not post pictures when you go on vacation because you don't want people to know that you're away. This allows them to see that you're away in Tijuana, Canada, Rio de Janeiro at the Olympics. Um, it just shows that you are out of town and you are open for someone to come and rob your house. That's a wrap. Have a great grizzly day. Hi everyone, I'm Mrs. Tompkins with GSPN and I'm here with our Granite Hills High School track coach, Mr. Tompkins, and he's gonna tell us a little bit about his season. Well, it's been a really good year for us. Right now we're second in the league on our way to hopefully winning it at all. Um, we've had a lot of great athletes this oh, year. I think I can take you in a race. Do you wanna try? Let's go. On your mark, get set. No, 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 hold on, hold on. I've heard this guy's pretty fast, so let's blindfold him. On your mark, get set, go. And I'm here with our very own Mr. Luther, the coach of our basketball team, the four Pete champions and I just wanted to ask him what was the highlight of your season obviously it was winning league again um, it was very special to go 25 and 3 I think it's a school record um, I don't think what they've achieved over the past four years will be matched um, everything about this year was special all right well let's see what this coach has to offer And I guess that's why he is the 4 Pete coach. Hey there Grizzlies, this is Coach Salazar, head football coach, Granite Hills High School. Spring football starts uh, Monday, May 16th. 
We're looking forward to a fantastic 2016 season. This is my set, Coach Salazar. Don't try to steal my shine. Anyways, this was GSPN, and we're out. Hi, I'm Mrs. Navarro. I'm here with Katina. What college are you planning on attending next year? So I will be attending Cal Poly Pomona. Okay, and what do you want to major in? I will be majoring in architecture. Got your art. Now, my question for you is Cal Poly Pomona. It's in LA, big city. Are there going to be a lot of turnips there? Is that going to distract you? Definitely not. I don't think I'm turning up anytime soon. Hi, I'm here with Mrs. Singo. Mrs. Singo, what college did you go to? Well, I went to, I first uh, spent a year and a half at Portville College, then I went to UC Santa Barbara and uh, transferred closer to home to Cal State Bakersfield. Okay, what'd you get your major in? Math. Math, math. That's like a fun major. And then did you start teaching right away? Um, yes, I did. I started teaching. I got my credentials through Cal State Bakersfield as well. So yes. <laughs> Anyways, what college are you planning going to in the fall? Uh, PC. And then what do you want to major with? Kinesiology, but they don't really have those classes there, so I would have to transfer out to get those. So you're going to get your AA and then transfer. Where do you want to transfer to? Uh, Fresno State or somewhere close, Bakersfield. I went to Fresno State. I'm going to recommend Fresno State to you. Fresno State? Sounds nice. Go dogs. We're here with some of our great students of Granite. Guys, what are your future goals? Where do we want to go to college at or what do we want our career to be? Uh, I want to go to college in um, Fresno State. That's where I went. And go I, want to, I want to become an electrician. Okay, what about you, Brandon? I want to go to Fresno State and be a wrestler and then go to the corrections. After I'm liking that we have Fresno State. Now, one of the things that's trending in college is the Running Man Challenge. What is that? What is, can you do that? If you want to go to college, you got to be cool. You have to do it. Let's see it. Can we do it? Okay, like a shuffle thing. Hi, this is Mr. Del Pena from GTV. Upgrade your vocab. Hi, I'm Mr. Del Pena from GTV. Now we're going to have see if Senora Carter can be up to date with the slang 2016, you know. All right, so here's a, a few expressions. I'm with you. And I'm going to give you a, an example, and then you're going to tell me, see if you can come up with the definition. So here we go. Fire. Example. Look at that new Audi. It's fire. It's hot, it's good, it's cool, it's magnificent, it's like you. Fire. Yes, fire. <laughs> We're going to interview Senora Lombardi, who teaches... Chemistry and Integrated right. Science. Yes. Play stuff, huh? All right, we're gonna see if you're hip down, you know, the slang of 2016. Okay. Can you do it? I can do it. That's right. It's salty. From all the ice cream flavors, you chose to be saltiest. Saltiest, that's probably like the most um, unusual, but really good. Salty? Salty would be, I'm gonna give you an example. Salty like the Dodgers. That would Ugh. Be okay, then that means the worst, um, not effective. Yeah. Last place. Maybe. Give you the, Always going against pessimist. There pessimist. you go. Salty. Okay. Yeah, salty. No Olá, eu sou a senhora Lewis e bem-vindo ao GM Notícias. De acordo com o relatório da polícia, a tentativa de um jovem de tirar um selfie com a estátua de um rei português do século XVI terminou mal, quando a estátua de 126 anos caiu para o chão e partiu-se. Não, não, Madame Luiz, pas de português. Oh, je suis désolé. L'homme qui n'a pas été identifié a renversé la statue de Don Sébastien à l'extérieur de la gare du Roussillon, dans le centre de Lisbonne, juste avant minuit mardi. Non, enfoncé, non. Elle joven intentó huir, pero la policía lo atrapó. Él aparecerá ante un juez el mes que viene. La estatua de tamaño infantil del rey se encontraba a la entrada de la estación. Okay, seriously. Miss Lewis, can you just speak English because Janae can't understand you. 
Why didn't you say so? Completed in 1890, the station is a protected monument. Don Sebastian, who ruled between 1557 and 1578, is a tragic figure in Portuguese history, dying in a battle at the age of 24 during a crusade of his own making in Morocco. So be careful next time you take a selfie. Pobre Sebastião, I hope he at least got a good picture. What is directly in the middle of Australia? Europe, 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 Europe. Let's see who's smarter, the sister or the brother? <laughs> The word Australia, you spell it out. The letter R oh. in the middle. Oh. Yeah. R, it's just R. John's father has five sons named Alan, Lan, Clan, and Delan. What did he call his fifth son? John, because it's John's father. John. Very good. John? No. John. John's father has five sons. Wow. <laughs> A man went outside in the pouring rain with no protection, but not a hair on his head got wet. How is this? Um, he, he has no hair. Probably has no hair. He's bald. He has no hair. He's bald. He's using an umbrella. An umbrella. I don't know. He's bald. This just in. Sierra View Hospital has just received a C grade. That is lower than it's been in years past. What that means for all of you Portavillians is that 35% of you, upon entering, if you have a fatal wound, you will die. B ratings get 9%. Now out to the field. Hello there, I'm Don Burgundy with GM News Exclusive. P.S. I'm kind of a big deal. This just in, California is sinking because of the drought. We're taking water from the ground and now bridges and tanks are gonna explode. We're all gonna die. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, can I please have your attention? I've just been handed an urgent and horrifying news story. I need all of you to stop what you're doing and listen. The thirst is real at Granite Hills. This is Don Bergen here at the local hotspot of some of you maker outers. Now, Lauren, how do you feel about these couples sucking face? It's just very nasty to see it during school, technically. Does it make you want to throw up? Sometimes. So stop it. <laughs> You're disgusting. This has been Don Burgundy with the GM News. Stay classy, Granite Hills. We did it, we got it, yes. Okay, now the true story about Friday the 13th and we are here to deliver it. We have survived many, so our hints to you. You wanna go first? Uh, sure. Are you scared of Friday the 13th? If you aren't, you should probably be scared of the word. For those of, who don't, those of you who don't know the word, it is Frigatriscadecophobia. All right. Okay. Oh, the original myth about Friday the 13th. Um, if you walk under a ladder, you're going to have bad luck. If a black cat crosses your path, you're going to have bad luck. Um, if you break a mirror, which happens to Izzy often when she looks in them, which <gasps> isn't often. Okay, you get seven years bad luck. Okay, but if you want to be lucky, here's what you do. You wear your clothes inside out like Feliciana Campos. She comes to class every day with her clothes inside out. Maybe she should turn the lights on before she dresses I know, in the morning. that's probably true. Um, and if you sneeze three times before breakfast, you will have good luck. But there's a problem with David, because when he sneezes, the green snot tends to come out of his nose, and that would be embarrassing. So, yeah. David, live with your luck. It is what it is. And then, four-leaf clovers. I know for a fact that Isabel can count to four, because she has brought oh me a four-leaf clover before. I know. Okay. I don't know if she can count to five, though. Okay. Um, Maria put an acorn in her pocket. Of course, I I tried to tell her the difference between an acorn and a walnut, but you know, maybe a walnut in your pocket will work too. Yeah. Try it, let us know. Okay. Those are our hints to keep you safe on this Friday the 13th. May you have a good one. Have a great Friday the 13th. Woo. Bye! Bye. Want to charge your phone faster? Try putting it on airplane mode. And also, put your brightness down as well. It will help your phone charge fast. Don't have a speaker? That's okay. Just play your music and put it in a cup. It will amplify the sound. 
Want to take perfect selfies? Well now you can. Just plug in your earphones with the volume button and use the plus button as a camera button and now you have perfect selfies. Another way to charge your phone faster is to use the white charger. A white charger charges your phone faster than the black chargers. Need better cell phone reception? Try holding your phone parallel to the ground. This is because radio waves travel through the ground horizontally. Now that was Tech Tips. If you want more information, you can visit us on the dailyroar.net. All right, good morning, Grizzlies. Today is Friday the 13th. Fridays will never be the same. Uh, we're running out of days left here at Granite Hills High School. Um, we have, let me see, uh, this is May. That's three letters in May. Put a zero on there. Uh, subtract some weekends, subtract a holiday. Uh, subtract that day that uh, we kicked the seniors out on Tuesday. And yeah, subtract that uh, day where that garbage truck ran into that uh, student car. So we have about 22 days left. So don't slack off and keep going. All right, first item here, we have the uh, Granite Hills Choir is having their concert tonight at the uh, Buck Schaefer Auditorium across from the fabulous Taco Bell. Um, it's at seven o'clock. Uh, tickets are $7 at the door. If you need more information, contact a choir member. Are you uh, interested in an eco tour to Florida, Hawaii, Costa Rica? Does that sound fun? If you're interested uh, about this trip, go to room 512 on Tuesday, May 17th at lunch for more information. All right, hashtag of the week. All right, this is a good one. Hashtag, give Michael a chance. All right. Next, attention all track athletes, please return your uniforms by next Tuesday to Coach Tompkins. If you fail to do so, there'll be a fine. And if you're a senior, you might not get to graduate. Underclassmen, juniors, we'll see you later. Seniors, all right? As a foreign exchange student once said, Giannis Dermanis, he looked me in the eye, he held out his hand, and he said, See you never. All right, uh, just kidding. Seniors, keep in touch and have a great grizzly day. Come on, Armando. Let's go get him. Come on, Z. Right there. All right, you guys can have your show back, I guess. Hey, man, wake up. Hey, man, come on. You took a little beating right there, man. Look at your eye. All right, I'm all right. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm all right. Are you good? Okay. All right. So, this has been our show for this week. And also the teacher takeover for this year. Don't forget to tweet us on Twitter. Follow us on Instagram. And snap us on Snapchat. This has been vital information for your everyday life. This broadcast has been brought to you by DDC Grizz Media.